What's up everybody, Couch Mills here, coming at you with a brand new Valorant video, and in this video we got a lot to talk about because the public beta entry patch went out, so we know a lot of the cool stuff that is going to be included in the patch just around the corner, so let's not waste any more time and break it all down, but if you want to improve, you want to climb to Immortal and beyond, go to the Game Leap website right now for in-depth agent guides, map guides, courses, and much more, check it out right now down below, but without further ado, Let's jump into the video. Now remember the next patch is going to be on Tuesday, which is in about three days. So you gotta keep in mind that most of the stuff is most likely gonna be in that patch and there's some exciting information. However, not everything's gonna be disclosed, of course. They always do keep some stuff under wraps and it's not on the public beta entry. Now the first thing is progression in Valorant seems to be getting a rework. A daily ticket will be added to the game. Match boxes, rewards for playing matches and bonus boxes are awarded for winning. This will also have a credit system. Now, even though I read all of that and I, you know, spoke it with great confidence, I have no idea what the hell any of that is. <laughs> like, I really don't know. A daily ticket? Like, does that mean that there's going to be a certain amount of reward for playing the game daily? Match boxes, rewards for playing matches, and a bonus box are awarded. Is this stuff that you could open and potentially get a skin or maybe a cosmetic? I have no idea. Also, a credit system? I have no idea what any of this stuff is. It sounds really interesting. It sounds like we're going to be getting, you know, free stuff or we're going to be able to get stuff by either playing the game or a credit system sounds like maybe a review system of... You know, having good teammates or bad teammates or playing in certain matches. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but I will tell you that I like opening up boxes that have like a random chance of getting something really cool. I would love it if maybe there were boxes that we could open up and for the most of the time, for most of the time you get like, you know, sprays and stuff like that, but maybe a very small chance you get a gun skin or something or even a knife skin. That would be cool, but I have no idea. Definitely let me know what you think this is and are you excited about potentially more free or cheap cosmetics? Now, the next thing that we need to talk about is something that we've been asking for forever and it's agent profiles. Agent profiles are coming in the next patch. You're gonna be able to set custom keybinds for each agent and coffee profile to other agents as well. This is crazy good. I cannot believe they finally added this. I freaking had to rebind where I had my regular, you know, tactical freaking ability button because I needed to incorporate it with Jet when I needed to take an off shot and dash away. And now I wouldn't have to do that. Now I've already gotten used to it at this point, but just having the flexibility to have bindings with every single character just makes a lot more freaking sense. You could just, you know, have more customizable options. For most people, they're gonna have the exact same, but for those of you who care, this means a very big deal. And I'm really glad that we're getting this finally after all this time. Now, the next thing is there's going to be penalties for friendly fire. You heard me right. Penalties for a friendly fire have been added and will be arriving next patch. To get the penalty, your ability usage has to adversely impact your allies in game. And here's the thing, right? I know that sometimes people use their abilities to troll. They, you know, lock someone in a corner, someone's like on a silver drone or something, and they light them on fire, or they kill their teammates at the end of the round. And that definitely happens. But it also can happen on accident. Like, you're playing Phoenix, you accidentally molly your teammates, you play raids, you accidentally throw a nade on them that explodes on them, orbital strike, whatever the case may be, and sometimes, something's gonna hit an ally, and it doesn't matter because it's also hitting an enemy. So I have no idea how they're going to figure out or differentiate between, you know, friendly fire that was on purpose, and friendly fire that just was collateral damage, right? And that's a little scary. So maybe you Phoenix players, you Rays players, you gotta find a new main. No, I have no idea. We're gonna have to wait and see. Maybe only isolated instances or repeat instances that were isolated that there was no gunfight happening and maybe you just killing teammates over and over again or finishing them off after the round or whatever. Maybe they have a way to figure this out. I have no idea. I'm just a little bit uh, pessimistic about this change and I wanna hear your opinion about it down below. Now the next thing that we gotta talk about is the night market is just around the corner. What do you wanna see in the night market? I freaking been wanting to buy the Reaver Vanda for so goddamn long. Please be in my night market, please, please. And I'll love you forever, Riot. But go to the game the website right now for high quality tips, tricks, and guides. Thank you so much for coming by. Hope you enjoyed this news roundup and I'll see you next time.